Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how I made this glowing Rava effect for my Korra cosplay from The Legend of Korra. Uh, this video is going to be a little bit less of a tutorial and more of an experiment. I have never done anything like this before and if you've been watching the channel for a while you know I'm a DIYer. So I was honestly just trying to see if I could do this. So let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get right into the video. So this is the visual that I'm inspired by for this DIY. I really wanted to get a glowing Rava look. So firstly to get the shape I'm going for, what I'm doing is I'm using my little mini projector and I'm projecting it on the wall. And then I'm standing in front of the projection to get a good size for how big I want the Rava to be on my chest once we cut it out. So I wanted to make sure it filled the space in enough. And actually once I was finished with this, I learned that I actually had made it a bit too big. Probably should have just scaled it down a bit more before I went to the next step. And once I found a size that I was happy with it was time to trace it down onto some craft foam. Now it would have been much easier if I could get the whole thing on one sheet of craft foam but I actually ended up needing two so what I'm doing is I'm laying these out on the wall and then I'm going to tape them to the wall so that the tape holds it in place so we can trace the whole thing out. And once the tape is firmly holding everything in place, I'm going through with a pen and I am lightly sketching everything out. And this took way longer than I thought it was going to, but I think the results were worth it in the end. I missed the spot. Are you kidding me? Okay, now this is it completely finished. I think it looks pretty good. Ignore the tape. That all makes it look bad, but you know, I think it looks pretty good. So now, on to step two. So now on to step two. Step two is cutting out Rava as a silhouette. Um, and not cutting it out fully because I wanted the light to come th through the areas that we were cutting out So that's why I was doing it this way So this is what I mean when I say cutting out the silhouette So not fully like going through and cutting things out. This also took quite a while um, <laughs> And I had to be very careful about the way I was cutting everything so that I didn't like so I didn't cut the wrong thing out or anything um, And this took forever this again was just like me trying to figure this out And this is how it looked once I had and this is how it looked once I had everything cut out for the top half and all I had left was to cut everything out for the bottom half. And I think the bottom half was a bit easier than doing the top and this is what it looked like when everything was finished together. I hot glued the two pieces of craft foam together so they were one solid piece. So now that that's finished, I'm going to go ahead and set the Rava to the side and now I'm taking a plain white t-shirt that I don't really wear that much and I'm going to go ahead and cut the sleeves off. This is going to go beneath my core cosplay and since that's sleeveless, I cannot have the sleeves poking through or anything like that. And also I thought I filmed this but I painted the entirety of Rava black because I wanted the lights to be even more vibrant when they poke through from behind it. And now I'm going to cut off all of the excess like craft foam on the edges. I just want to make sure I have all of the necessary like shapes for Rava. I didn't need all of the extra space on the edges so I'm just going through and cutting all that off. And now I am laying the cutout down onto the shirt. And once I like its positioning, I'm gonna start hot gluing the whole thing down until it is fully attached to the shirt. Now, if you're confused on why I'm doing this, don't worry. Uh, looking back on it, I'm confused too. I will address more of this towards the end of the video. But again, this is an experiment to see if I could get this to work. So let's just roll with it, okay? <laughs> And 
then once everything was fully attached, I wanted to give it a quick try on just to make sure I liked how everything looked. And this is how it looked without the lights or anything attached. I think it actually looks pretty cool. You can still see the Rava pretty clearly through it. But I wanted to add the lights just to see if we could do it. So I flipped the shirt inside out and these are the lights that I am using. The listing on Amazon says that they are no longer available, but you could probably find some pretty similar online to these. And before I start adding the lights, I'm making sure that the part where the USB connector is, is at the bottom of the shirt and not at the top. And I'm doing that because I'm gonna be wearing a pair of leggings underneath the costume as well. And I wanna tuck the battery pack into the pocket. So I just wanna make sure it's lined up properly so that everything flows in the right direction. So I'm gonna section all that off first. And then I'm going to start hot gluing the lights around the shirt, but only on the parts where the Rava symbol is. So I just wanna make sure I'm wrapping it all the way around and again I thought this would not take much time this took so long but just trust the process and once everything was properly attached and glued on this is how it ended up looking and once I was done, I just flipped it inside out, and this was the final result. This is the finished result, and I gotta show you guys, so this is the remote. So underneath this, I have the, the shirt with the Rava on it, and then I have leggings on with pockets, and I have like a battery pack. There's like a battery pack in the leggings pocket, like a portable battery pack in my pocket that the lights plug into, and now I just keep the remote out, and whenever I want, and I think it looks so cool. I mean, obviously it'll look cooler in the dark, but I think it's like, even in the light, you can still tell. Like, let me back up from the camera a bit because the camera was focusing, but like that is so cool. I'm gonna turn the light off so you can see a little bit better. Like, come on, that is so cool. So again, like I said, this was all an experiment just to see if I could make myself glow. Um, this will probably not be a permanent solution for the question that I proposed because uh, as soon as I was finished putting all of this together, I was like, how the heck am I gonna wash this thing? I, it's on a shirt, so it needs to be washed because it's gonna you know, be dirty at some point, but I can't really put craft foam in a washing machine, so this will probably not be a permanent solution. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm probably gonna redo this and revamp it at some point. But again, this was just me experimenting with cosplay things, seeing if I was able to do something. Um, if you guys have any tips or tricks you'd like or suggestions you may have for a solution to this question, please do not hesitate to let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on my instant TikTok to keep up with all my other cosplay antics. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.